Hey boaters, it's Jim from Ray Marine uh, with a quick tech tip for you today. We have our Yacht Sense Link uh, Marine router here. And as you can see, I have a special guest in the studio with me. This is Brian Jensen. He is the product manager for Yacht Sense Link. Welcome, Brian. Thanks, Jim. I'm really excited to show some people some stuff about this cool new product. Yeah, so Yacht Sense Link is our marine uh, router system. So it can provide connectivity on board your boat. Um, and it's got quite a few components uh, come in the box with it. Let's uh, take a look at what we got here. What do you got for us, Brian? Sure, let's start with the main units or the brains of the system. This is the actual marinized router, heavy duty router, as you can see. Uh, a lot of different connections on it. So maybe we could talk through some of these connections. Sure, yeah, let's bring it up on the camera so everyone can see it. So I am gonna bring you up there, all right. So on this side of it, this is going to be where sort of the core of your connections are. So this is where you're going to do your input or outputs okay. that, that you could use for digital switching oh, cool. um, with the assistance of an automotive relay, which we'll talk about later. Um, it's also got your power. Um, it's got your STNG. Um, it's got your Ethernet or Raynet uh, that you can input there. So this is where basically all your, your base connections in the system go. Okay. And I noticed on the end of it here, on the small end, there is a, um, a QR code and some serial numbers and stuff. Uh, what is that? Let's take the closer. Yeah, so that's great, great point, Jim. This this information that you see is really, really critical, especially for setting up the system. Um, so you're going to see a QR code on that, which will actually bring up the configuration page. Okay. So you can configure uh, you can configure the router. Um, it's also going to have your admin password. It comes with a default admin password, which you can change in the configuration. We'll show you that in a different video. Okay. Um, and plus the model number, uh, serial number, all that stuff, the URL, if you want to access the configuration page directly from a URL. So kind of the core of the system in order to set it up and onboard it is all located right here on the side right, panel. Right on the side panel. That's pretty cool. I noticed on the top of it, you've got a whole bunch of little tiny connections. Um, what, are, what are these guys all along here? Oh, all along the side here. These are basically, this is where your antenna get uh, hooked up. Okay. So we have a, a, a four and a five and one antenna, excuse me, which can get you 3G, 4G, um, also GPS. Okay. Um, and then on the end here, you're going to have your uh, dipole antennas. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. So these are just the dipoles. This will give you the extended range network that you would uh, uh, for your boat on your boat on board your when boat. it's okay. when it's broadcasting. Cool. And then I see like we've got some lights on the front of it. Yeah, basically on the front, you're just going to see your sort of configuration lights. They're going to be flashing your typical red and green um, when you're connected as with your power. And then we also have the plate where you enter your SIM cards. So it's easily accept uh, accessible. You can insert them right there. We're actually going to show you how to do that in a in another video, but uh, easily accessible. You can put dual SIM cards right in there. And that's basically the unit. Cool. So it looks like it's uh, actually pretty easy to install. You just make the physical connections to it. I like the keyways on the front. Yeah, of the easy to mount. It. Definitely easy to mount. You got the mounting uh, screws right there, so you don't have to drill into the back of it, which yeah, is really nice. Right on it. Exactly. It yep. So we've got a bunch of different cables out here. So um, like I recognize this, that's a SeaTac NG. Mm -hmm. So that connects you to the navigation network. Uh, we've got a Raynet to Arjet 45. So this is to get you onto the Raynet high speed ethernet. Yep. Uh, what are these guys here? Uh, so these are, our, uh, we give you some uh, input output cables uh in the box uh, okay so these are the ones that will help you do the digital switching if you want to set up some digital switching channels you will need an automotive relay um to do it to do most digital switching with it but these these are the cables that would allow you to do that okay and this looks like a power cable i see the fuse uh, on it yep and then uh well this is a pretty substantial piece of hardware here this i think is the main antenna unit um, and all those different uh, cable connectors. So what does this actually do for us, Brian? Yeah, so this is going to be mounted, you know, probably on the top of your boat or wherever uh, you find a good mounting spot for it. And there's these uh, five different connectors. And these are uh, going to give you a boosted signal. So you're actually going to get a stronger cellular or Wi-Fi uh, signal than you would using the, the router by itself. It's also going to give you a high grade GPS. Oh, wow. So it's going to give you all that. So this is a really critical piece if you want to really extend your network and have really so strong signal strength no matter where you are. Okay. So it all connects right up. And I see there's a gasket for the antenna yep. lock ring to lock it down. Um, so really not, not too bad. Um, everything you need is right there in the box. And as you can see, this uses our new uh, eco-friendly uh, packaging, but this is what Yacht Sense 
link is going to look like on the shelf in your local Raymarine dealer. That's right. All Pretty right. easy. Very good. Well, thanks for watching. We'll have some more content coming on Yacht Sense Link. So until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks.